the most luxury bedroom in Sri Panwa of Thailand. If it's good enough for the royal family of Thailand and Snoop, it's good enough for anyone. Rolling up to the reception area of the Sri Panwa, I didn't know exactly what to expect but I knew it was going to be good. At the reception area, a lady welcomed us with an ice cold tea and a chilled face towel. We sat down on a comfortable lounge with a great view overlooking the ocean and was promptly checked in without having to get off our butts. Now that's my kind of check in. Shortly after finishing our welcoming drink we were invited to board a tuk tuk, a very small passenger truck, to be transported to our one bedroom pool villa. The tuk tuk drove up a very steep hill for a couple of minutes hinting at the view we were going to get upon arrival. The whole time we were accompanied by the same lady from the reception. She elegantly slid out of the tuk-tuk and walked us over to the entrance and unlocked the door as whilst announcing the words, Welcome to your pool villa. When the doors opened, I was like Tom Cruise on the Oprah show. Except I kept my cool and confined my excitement to my pulsating brain. Like in a dream, the next words I heard were, your villa assistant will be arriving shortly to give you a tour. My way out. My villa assistant arrived shortly and proceeded to give us a tour through the villa. He explained how every time we wanted to go somewhere, we should call him to order a tuk tuk to pick us up from the door to drive us to anywhere around the resort. He showed us the kitchen, which was a generous size, and so was the fact that pretty much everything in the well stocked fridge was complimentary 10 different flavors of drinks plenty of water and snacks. He explained how the Bose entertainment system worked throughout the villa so we wouldn't miss a beat and finally, that the outdoor spa and shower was okay to use because the villa had absolute privacy. Ahem. There's also an indoor shower in case you're a prude. No, he didn't say it like that. Finally, we got introduced to the most important room of all, the bedroom. It was lusciousness maximus. The king-sized boss bed sat squarely in the middle of room with sweeping 180-degree views of the ocean and picturesque mountains and islands in the distance. Each of the glass windows were also sliding doors giving you three access points to the private pool acting as a moat around the room. I tested every entry to the pool, they all work. When our room assistant excused himself, he made sure we knew that snacks, cocktails and a ride was just a phone call away. Dial 2 for too easy. The moment he left, I did exactly what you would probably have done if you were there. And it didn't involve unpacking. The sun deck area was an amazing place to dry off after a swim and also to do some work on my MacBook. There's a gazillion places around the villa for you to just sit, lounge, bake, nap, float, whatever you want. The only thing that convinced us to get out of the villa was an invitation to Bubba Nest. It promises the most spectacular sunset view in all of Phuket and it certainly delivered. The platform is situated at the peak of the resort and has 270 degree views overlooking islands and mountains. Both breathtaking and serene, we sipped cocktails to toast the day away. The next morning I woke up to a view that I'd never had before. It was somewhat surreal. I can't really use words to describe what this following photo can. In the middle of the resort is the Sri Pan Wabba Pool Club. It's the main bar and restaurant area where breakfast and long lunches are served. If you haven't already noticed, there's an infinity theme to this place. Everything is designed to look like it stretches forever. Breakfast was generous and the view was calming. Afterwards, I returned to my villa to do some more chillaxing. Sri Panwa is a truly magnificent resort and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to spend some time lapping up some luxury in a world of your very own. Go to the Sri Panwa website to book your stay.